Hello everybody, it is I Hidden Flame. Last night I received a 
message from the sorcerers, Grisha and Tarda. Again, I'm on a timer. Prince of 
Chapion, and a man of a most honorable man. I am honored to meet you, Princess Chapion. We will see Ahura and Simba again in a few days, for we will travel together to her village to talk with her people and learn more about the war between the Simba and the Leopard League. In my village is about a day's journey from here. I can't keep up all the voices. All I, all I know of the leopard men is that they are a tribe of shape changers who dwell in the jungle. The human, the shape changers are human who take on certain aspects of animal food magic. The jungle lies several days to east of Tarna. Okay, cool. Uh, Tarna. The city and its land around is called Tarna. It is ruled by my people, the Lion Tars. I hope that you can have a chance to appreciate this beauty of this place. Can I turn this down? Because this is loud. That is loud. I don't know if you heard anything of what I said so far. I will spend the next couple of days finding out more information about this war. I'll speak to you more later. The Lion Tars have ruled Tarno for as long as most have existed. We Lion Tars have little to do with humans, although that is changing. This is talk of war is some ways a good sign, for it means the Lion Tars began to accept that Simba are our allies and friends. Oops. Rakish, you have been away a long time. There are several members of the Council of Judgment who also respect humans. There are also those who call for war for war's sake. The Council of Judgment is made up of the wisest of our people. Karisha is, of course the magical member of the council. It is because of who I am. It is because I am one of the few Lyotars who have studied magic. It is because you are both magical and wise, my love. Rakish is my life mate and my friend. He also is highly respected by the Council of Judgment and Raja. The king of Tarna and Rakisha's brother. Raja is the current ruler of Tarna. He is somewhat hot headed and is loud in his demands that the Council of the Judge of Judgment declare war. That is very like him. Raja always treated life as a battle to be fought rather than to be adventured for an adventurer to be experienced. Okay, I think we're good. You guys, I will see you later. Ooh. Run! Ooh. Uh, speed, please. I have reserved a room at the end nearby. I can see you are eager to explore the city. Farewell. Oh. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. In two days, I will stand before the Council of Judgment and speak of peace. I would like you to be there as well. Then we can journey to the Sambai village. In the meantime, explore and enjoy Tarna. If you have any questions, you will find us here. Enter freely, and you will be welcome anytime. Well, almost anytime. After all, Rakesh and I need some time to uh, speak with one again, and one another again after such long party. Giggity. Please tell me I have my 300 something. 200. I had 300 something. Lame. Whatever.
think the money changers over here. Come on. As you witness, you enter the north end of the bazaar to witness a dispute. What are you doing? That is not right. Stop him, thief! Thief! is under control. This man is to be taken to the Hall of Judgment. All wrongs will be righted. You, stranger, shall accompany us to the Hall of Judgment as well. Okay. You are led to by guard to the Hall of Judgment to attain to attend the judgment of the thief. The Council of Judgment has determined that you Harami have broken the laws of Tarna by taking things belonging to others. You have shown yourself to be without honor. Do you have anything you wish to say before you are unnamed? If you're named honorless, <laughs> big deal. Then by the judgment of the council. Oh, that's a female. Then by the judgment of the council and the laws of Tarna, you. Arami are now formally named honorless. You have acted, and so you have acted, so you shall be. The honorless ones must leave the hall. The Council of Judgment now summons the Princess Shapir. God, they're like all female. Except for that one. I guess that's him. Okay. Uh, it is against the law of Tarna to harm another. The honorless one is no longer a person, therefore the human harmed no one. Acknowledged. The Council of Judgment hereby commends the Princess Shapir for aiding in the capture of the honorless one. King Raja orders Rakesh and the Princess Shapir to meet him in his chambers immediately. Okay. You enter the presence of the Raja Shah Tarna. Raja Shah Tarna, I stand before you. Rakesh Shah Tarna, you stand before me and I. This is my friend, the Princess Shapir. Tell the king that you are honored to be in his presence. Princess Shapia, you stand before me in honor. Rakish, you brought along the Princess Shapia to help you bring peace. How can a human of such service to the lion? How can a human be of such service to a lion? You puny human. How will you aid Rakish? Rakish has called you a spy. Do you think you can sneak around and watch the leopard men without being discovered? You answer his question. Rakish, your companion is not much of a speaker, is he? So, so this Princess Shapir has come to bring, to bring peace and harmony to Tarna? You grow old, too old, Rakish. If you must depend on a human for help, your age has made you cowardly and taken away your honor. You defend his bravery and honor. You need a human to speak for you now, Rakish? I do not need to defend. I do not need to defend myself before you of all people, Raja. Rakish, you, if of anyone, 
should be demanding war instead of talking about peace. Rakisha is lost. Your own daughter has been killed by the leopard. Don't you want revenge? The truth of what happened to Rakisha has not been determined. When I know for certain about Rakisha, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Revenge is, I mean, for the sake of revenge, is pointless. Mindless revenge is pure stupidity. Rakish, you... Human, do you have anything to say important to this conversation? You speak of how Rakish helped you in Shapir. The human speaks highly of you, Rakish, but he does not speak well. Human, you may leave in the presence now. I wish to speak further to Rakish. Well, goodbye then. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. Gotta go to the money changer. No, I said... Ah, I see you're in need of a new weapon. I've just right one for you. Here is the finest of daggers. It is too made of Damascus steel. It is too sharper than the serpent's tooth, and small enough to be concealed in your sleeve, to be ready when your foe is least expects it. I have, without a doubt, the best weapons for sale in all of Targa. If you will be needing a weapon, I am the man you should. You should see. Come, take a look and buy what you like. Um later. I gotta go turn in my money. Uh, Narika said, Avindi, good day. I am the money changer, the Rab Kalis. Do you wish to exchange some foreign coin for the money of Tarna? <sighs> I wish I had more, but whatever. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Many thanks. I have 180 royals. Okay, so... Okay, change your money, then talk to the leather sailor. Bye. Whew. Okay. Water skins. I need five of these. Bargain. See what I can do for 175. Too low. 185. Still too low. 190. Bah, give me more. 195. Really? Six. I'm not paying full price. Seven. Eight. Really? Nine. Wow, you won't take anything less. Whatever. Okay, I need, apparently I need five zebra skins too. <sighs> Freaking A. Four. Really, dude? <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> apparently I need one thing of fruit. Okay. 
itself by a fine dagger. I already have a fine dagger. What about here? Okay, I need a, a spear. Might as well buy a second one. Okay, a jar of honey from the honey cellar. I think that's this guy. Oh, I definitely need that. Honey. Tim, there's the black bird. I need a tinder box. And Simon and Son, or whatever his name is. God, that's an old show. You know, I'll buy the black bird. Look like you could use some are mostly new items. Well, if these items aren't new, you know that. Anyway, I'm not gonna listen to these guys because it's cheap is. Okay, so next I'm going by bread of oh, beads. Okay. Okay, if you're a thief, buy a magic rope. Or buy a rope. And then combine the two. Okay, magical crapping hook. Oh, okay. Make thief sign. Ooh, one of the brethren, eh? I am not, but when I was younger, I knew many of your profession. I was a tightrope acrobatic in my youth, and many of your skills could come in could come to have me teach them acrobatics. But Tarna is no place for <clears throat> brethren. There is no guild here, no place to sell items. Good showing off, dude. Okay. 50 royals, huh? Acrobatics are simple, really. You need to train your body to move correctly. Once you have mastered that, you can jump and do tricks to amuse yourself and others, to move yourself and others. More than that, someday you might need to quickly avoid something you know, and your body will know how to react. If you are interested, I would be happy to teach you for 50 royals. It is a skill worth knowing. Train. 
You pay Rashid 50 silvers and 50 royals. Rashid then shows you some flips and gives you some tips about maintaining your balance. You practice with them some and you have a better feeling of balance. You are a most skilled pupil. With sufficient practice, you will be a skilled acrobat. You need to practice frequently and master these skills, though. Okay, we're going south. Oh, hello. Greetings, may I introduce some wood carvings? Okay, so tell him of Shapia. Come on. Come on, there we go. It is such a nice pleasure to hear news from my homeland. I cannot express my happiness from your story. Give him the note from Shima. I have a note from Shima? Oh. Here you go. Thank you for the kindness of bringing me the note from my Aunt Shima. It is so wonderful to have news from home. It is so sad to be so far from Shapir and those for which I care. Oh. And then try to buy a carving, okay. Where's my coins? You decide to buy a carb leopard. It will give me pleasure to give you a leopard as a gift, my friend. I hope you will accept it as a token of our friendship. Okay. Buy a robe. Good day, Master. How may this worthless son of a dog serve you? Perhaps you would like some meat. May I sell you some meat, please? Okay. I need a rope. Okay. <laughs> Parking meat down to one common. Okay. This will be interesting. Oh, goody, goody, goody. It's a good... If the, if the good master accepts the price, I will accept it. Okay. Apparently buy 50 of them. <laughs> wow. This dog jackal Anubis guy is, a, is dumb. But whatever. Oh, most magnificent. Or mag, magnanimous, magnificent, munificent, benefit, benevolent, man, benevolent, ultraviolet, or nonviolent, ultraviolet, ultra liberal lover of small furry animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, God, damn, just shut up. And buy 50 rations, cover the entire game. And finally give some money to the drummer. Okay, return to the middle of the city, go to the apothecary. Oops. Do, do, do. Wait, I learned acrobatics, right? Uh. Wow, my agility went up. That's that's good. Nah, I got meat. I don't need fish.
think this is the apothecary. Oh, hi! You must be the Princess Shapita people are talking about. Wow, I've never met a real prince before. Welcome to my apothecary, prince. What about your adventures up here? You know, I have dreams about a desert land like that. They're like so real, like wow. What's your name? My name is Salim Narf. That means healthy soul in Arabic. The numerology, I'm a, in numerology, I'm an eight. I'm also a Libra. Libra, you know, like the scale, which means well balanced individual. What's your side? Numerology is the number of science. The letters of the name add up to eight, which is very well rounded number and very auspicious. Talk to him about everything, okay? Are you talking about that? This place is like to purchase pills and potions. I call it Salim's Holistic Health and Happiness Holistic Energy Emporium. But you can just call it an apothecary. Carry crystals and promote peace and pyramid power. I'm here to help you, sir. What? Well, I'm happy to sell you like whatever you need to contribute to your physical and psychic will be. I see you by your aura that you're a hero, so I sell you things that heroes need. Your aura, uh, your psychic rainbow of soul that radiates around you. Your aura is particularly auspicious, you know. One pill makes you better, one pill makes you well, one pill gives you mana, and the other ones I sell. Just ask Salim, and I'm sure you find him swell. Oh, he just rhymed. Mana, 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 everyone's looking for mana. Or, was that money? Anyway, these pills are, these are the pills that will refill your magical ill. I use them still. If you want to be well, well, my herb, my healing pills are made of he homeopathic herbs. Unfortunately, I'm all out of feathers to make more. To make some healing pills, I need a feather of a honey bird. The happier the bur honey bird, the more effective the pill. If the feather is from an ex-avian that the pill is done. You need to get them non-violently. The honeybird is, well, kind of a bird, you know? It has wings, it's got a, this thing about honey. It would be really cosmic if you bring me a feather. Take care of to help your karma clean. It takes a happy feather to make a happy pill. So please don't bruise the bird or the feather will fail. When you're vexed with bad, with bad vibes from the venom, you will need to be reoriented your chakras and balance your body. My pills are totally pure, all natural ingredients for good karma cookies and crazy good loving. Take them before or after you get hurt. They'll make you feel real good. I'm really, a I'm really a lot more into pills and potions. Turner doesn't have a recycling center for potion bottles. I'm afraid they're a little behind the times, you know. But hey, I think I do have a recipe for one potion around here. 
Did your horoscope say anything about needing a potion to dispel magic or any anytime soon? Wow, look, I never sold one of those. I need to look up in my book. Hey, check it out. In the pharmacopoeia. Wow, man, I've got most of the stuff I need. It's the bee's knees and abyss's eyelashes and clear amethyst crystal. Out of sight. So, like, all I need now is some water for the pool of peas. A gift from the heart of the world. And, uh, ugh, yuck. Food of the venomous vine. That really shouldn't be too much of a problem for a hero like you, should it? Maybe you can get the missing ingredients? I'll, like, make it up. Make it up a dispel potion. I had a dream. I'm like in this desert place with like golden sand and stuff. And I'm dancing with this tree, you know? And it changes. Suddenly this tree's like a woman and she's all beautiful. It's really magical. Are you tell how you helped a an enchanted tree woman, uh Jewel and I regain some hope while you were in Shabir. How extraordinary. The girl of my dreams is real. I'm so thrilled to hear it. I will have to leave for Shapir on the next caravan there. Um, plants? Plants are like people. They love to share their hopes, their dreams, and their finest feelings with you. Have you hugged a tree today? Uh, Boogie with the Babo and Polka with the Palm, Mamba with the Mung, Mango and Fandango with the Frogs. I have these really neat dreams about dancing with a tree. Have you heard about your dreams? You need to get in touch with your feelings, man. You've got to find your center. Tune your aura to the cosmos. Uh, last time. I came to Tarnak because I heard they had these neat pyramids here. I wanted to find a place where nobody steps on your space. I also heard the rumors of a magical tree somewhere in the jungle. I heard from the tribesmen that there's some... Somewhere in the jungle there's a tree they call the Mother of the World. I'd like to see it someday. Cool. Make a purchase. Okay. Eh, I can't even get a healing potion. Because I have to get him some stuff. I have one poison cure. I have one mana. I have one healing. I have 20 rations. 20 pieces of dried meat. Why did I buy a fine spear? Later, dude. Just live long and prosper. Wait, really? Live long and prosper, dude. Have a splendiferous day. Okay, where am I going to next? Into the temple? Oh, over here. For a quest, find the gem of the guardian. You enter a huge hall dominated by what appears to be the statue of Sekhmet. The air is smoky and filled with the odor of strange spices. You feel as if you, someone is watching you. Defile the sanctity of the temple of Skathmet. Be gone. What? Human, do a changer of worlds. Release the darkness. Thou hast not yet been judged. And 
a future cannot yet be weighed. Yet thou hast already created a future for weal or woe. Should it be woe, then the towers of Tarna will fall, and the blood of my light our people will flood the savannah. For the darkness before us rises from darkness behind you, and you must confront the darkness. Yet I cannot see until you are judged. Leave now or return with the gem of the guardian. You shall be then be weighed and judged. A future can be seen. When you have been judged, we will reveal a future for you to make or unmake. Okay. Go back down the steps. Going to the inn, which is over here, I believe. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Harabi Banai Narak Say Welcome to the Welcome to the Welcome Inn, son of Sultan. I am known as the Welcome Woman. Teresha, mother of magic, has a room here for you. It is the first still on the right as you go up the stairs. I hope it will serve you well. Now, I must return to work, but if you would like a meal, just take a seat at one of the tables. Okay, so... That's silly clown. It's a silly clown from Trial by Fire. You see a young woman wearing nice clothing. Nice clothing, colorful clothing, Egyptian clothing. The man is dressed in an elegant Arab Arabic costume. Looks like he's from North Fernaka. Okay, this is the the sprite from for the the Sultan. This is the sprite for the one of the Thingamabobbers. Uh, I can't think of what... trying to think of where they are. Oh, <sighs> alright, hang on. The brigands. Um, if you need to... If you have need of magic, I shall be honored to serve you. Appreciate it. Potions, pills, and positivity. Visit the apothecary for all your health needs. Good vibrations. Potations and everyone. You need it? We got it. See us in the bazaar. Nearly open emporium of irregular antiquities and the laws of Tarna. Thou shalt harm none. Thou shalt you not use magic on the streets of Tarna. Thou shalt not take that which is not thine. Thou shalt behave with honor. Fair enough. Hello, welcome, woman. Since apparently that's your name. Hello, hair of sunshine. What can I do for you? The name is Yana Jamil, which means beautiful paradise in Arabic. Uh, flirt. You will melt my heart with such talk, you of t talented tongue. Are you as skilled in deeds as in words? What a meal. I will bring your meal right out. There's nothing on that plate. Strange, but smells delicious. You pay the welcome woman for your meal. Be welcome, and may you enjoy it.
You enjoy your meal. It's very tasty, even though it's a bit strange. Okay, cool. So, we don't have to do anything till day three. Because apparently we did everything we need to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.